Welcome back to another episode of A Beginner's Guide to Tonex. One thing that I see discussed a lot, and I get a lot of questions regarding Tonex, is all of the different ways that we're able to utilize it. The folks at IK Multimedia have built it so that we can utilize it in a number of ways. We can capture an amp and a cab together. We can capture an amp just by itself. We can even capture overdrive pedals by themselves. So today, I wanted to break down all of the possible ways we can utilize Tonex pedal so that folks have a really good understanding of what it can do and how they can use it because I've seen some questions where some folks may be trying to use a DI amp capture without a cab and saying it sounds terrible well it doesn't sound terrible it sounds exactly the way it's supposed to but it's not being used properly so hopefully by going through all of these methods today we'll be able to get folks on the right path to be able to utilize this incredible tool in the proper way later in the video on the way out I'm going to play you a demo video for my brand new Brit 45 Mojo Ultimate Collection that is now available. It's a wonderful and concise set of tone models based off of my Marshall Studio JTM through an amazing 212 Lurkst cabinet loaded with Mojotone BV25M speakers. Really killer sounding cab. A lot of the amps I've played through this sound really amazing. So I'm going to have a whole Mojo Tone series that is going to have a bunch of amps going through this. Amps that work really well with it. So without further ado, let's head right over to Tonex. Take a look and a listen to the different ways that we can utilize Tonex. All right, so the first way that we can utilize Tonex is as amp and cab captures. Now, this is going to be just as it's described. We're going to set up an amp and a cab or a combo amp. So it's going to be an amplifier and a cabinet or a speaker of some sort. And we're going to mic that speaker with one or two microphones. And we're going to capture into one tone model the sound of that entire chain all the way from amp to mic to mic preamp and any other EQ style processing we could have in the chain. That's going to be probably one of the more common ways to utilize Tonex. So one example of this would be, as I mentioned already, the JS Brit 45 Mojo. And this is 3N. So this is the normal input. So it's going to be a little darker and more vintage vibe. But this is this amp cranked up. And this was captured just as that. It says the characters drive amp based on Marshall Studio JTM and the cab on the Lurkst Omega 212. Notice there's no stomp here because this is just a capture of an amp in a cab. It sounds like this. <laughs> So really killer sounding tone model and a very common way to be able to utilize Tonex. You'll notice I've added in some of the noise gate and compression and some reverb up here. I could tweak the advanced parameters and save all of that as a preset. But one thing you will notice is even if I come in here and reset the chain back to just how it was captured, I have an amp and I have a cab and there is no stomp box. Another way to use Tonex would be as it's called here, a complex rig. Now a complex rig really isn't all that complex. It's going to be just like the amp and cab capture we just spoke about, except we're going to have some sort of overdrive or distortion pedal in the chain, or maybe more than one overdrive or distortion pedal, however we want to capture this. But it's basically going to be the same thing. So if we look up here, I have my JS Brit 45 Mojo lead, which now you'll see under it says the heading stomp based on, I now have, you know, character drive stomp based on MXR Duke of Tone going into the aforementioned Marshall Studio JTM and Lurks Omega cab. So now now the difference is I ran this as a complex rig. I have my amp head, I have my speaker cab, and going into that amp head, my guitar is plugging straight into an MXR Duke of Tone. I'm hitting the front of that amp model with that. <laughs> So really cool killer tone out of that and we could add any sort of overdrive pedal into it. So if we ever see a tone model that says stomp based on with that filled in, then we know that is going to be a complex rig capture with an overdrive pedal hitting the front of our amp and cab. Now moving on to our next style of capture is going to be what we call a stomp capture. And the way I'm going to utilize this today is within Amplitude because Amplitude gives us this unique ability to not only load up a Tonex tone model of an amp, but also a Tonex 
pedal capture in front of it. So what I've done here is I'm utilizing one of my captures from my Scent Clone Overdrive pedal capture, which is based off of my incredible Warm Centavo clone style pedal. So I'm using the setting here of tone on five and overdrive on seven. So if I turn this off, I have a Tonex model, which is from my OR30DI bundle, which is based off of my incredible orange OR30. So without the stomp engaged, here's what this sounds like. Now, if I come over to my stomp capture, engage that. Again, with it off, with it on. So I found that this is a really wonderful way to be able to utilize Tonex. We could take these overdrive pedal only captures, load them up into our Tonex pedal and utilize Tonex pedal into a real tube amp or into another modeler just as a stomp box. I did a video about this recently. Very cool way to be able to utilize this. And I have some overdrive captures up on my site and I'll have the links below to those as well. Now, another way that we can utilize Tonex is as what we call an amp only capture. Now this is going to be done by by taking a direct out of an amp, either with an amp that has a, a dedicated direct out or using some sort of box to split the signal off from the speaker output so that we can get a line out from that while also hooking it up to a load. And that's going to be the really important part with the vast majority of tube amps is we're going to have to make sure that we do have a speaker hooked up to it. But we have to come up with a way of being able to take a direct out of an amp and then capturing just that. Now, here's the problem. This is an issue a lot of folks have had. Here is a capture from my OR30, which I mentioned before is of my orange OR30 amplifier. And this is the OR30 DIOD1. Now you'll notice as this comes up, I have a noise gate on just so it's a little quieter, but the tone model is captured with no cab. So this is a kind of a distorted tone. So what you're going to hear if you load this up without a cab is this. <laughs> it's not going to sound very nice. And I've seen a lot of folks have this issue where they pull it up and they go, this sounds terrible. Therefore, Tonex sounds terrible. It's not worth having. I'm getting rid of it. That might sound like a silly situation, but you would not believe how many times I've had people approach me and ask me this exact thing. Why does it sound so terrible? What you need to do with a DI capture is come to the cab section and add something to it. You can add either a VIR from within Tonex. We could grab a model of a speaker from a different capture or we could just throw in a custom IR such as this one right here. And once we add that in and maybe throw in just a dab of reverb to give it a little more life. <laughs> Again, if I disengage that cab, It's going to really bring this to life and that's the proper way to be able to utilize a DI capture. And lastly, we're going to have what we call a stomp and amp only capture. And this is going to be much like the complex rig we talked about before, but just without a speaker cab. So again, in this scenario, that tone model will load up captured as a stomp box into an amp, but with no cab. It's going to have that same unnatural, gritty, annoying, buzzy tone if we don't add a cab to it. What we can do with both amp only and stomp and amp captures is we can take that out of Tonex pedal straight into a power amp and a real guitar cab, or we can add our IR of choice, whatever way we would like to use it. But we do want to make sure we add some sort of cab to it to give it the sound that we're very likely looking for. All right. What did you guys think? I hope that that was helpful. And I hope I did that in a way that was clear and concise and gets you off and running to be able to utilize Tonex in exactly the fashion you want. To. So thanks so much for tuning in. I'm going to leave you with the demo video today, as I mentioned before, for my Brit 45 Mojo 
ultimate tone model collection. You heard a few samples from that tone model collection in this video already. I hope you enjoy the music on the way out. Links are below if you're so inclined and want to grab a copy. Thanks so much for sharing your time with me. Please like the video, share it with anybody you think would get some use or enjoyment out of watching it. Also, please subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell notification to get notified when I put new content out. I'll be back really soon with some more. Thanks so much for tuning in. Ciao for now. Mm -hmm.